So, Jack, there's, uh, this, this is kind of an interesting thing. We're going to create a scenario here, you and I. And it's going to involve you thinking back to your childhood, okay? I want you to think back to when you were a little kid, like maybe six, seven, eight, something like that. And I want you to imagine that you won a competition. Maybe it was Blue Peter or something. Your mum and dad entered the competition and, and you won. <coughs> and the prize is to go on holiday to a different country. Ooh. Not only that, you get a toy hand-delivered to you by a celebrity. And it has to be a celebrity that you would have been interested in meeting or seeing when you were like six, seven, eight, nine years old. And also it has to be a place that you would want to go when you were six, seven, eight years old, right? Okay. So it has to be, it, it can either be, when I say go somewhere, it can be a country, it can be a place, it can, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and see if I can predict all the elements of this story, which is why I've got this, this, this pad here, right? And the first part of the story is, is the location. So the first part of it, I'll put location here. The first part is where you're going to go on holiday or where you're going to visit to have this toy hand delivered to you. I want you to think of that. But before you do, I'm just going to show you this. This is a toy catalogue. It is. It's from Toy Warehouse. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of different toys on the front cover. Yep. Now, you can notice that there's quite a lot of vehicles there. You can also notice there's quite a lot of cuddly animals. I don't know uh, the type of kid you were or whether you're into vehicles or cuddly animals. I don't want you to tell me anything. But we're going to have you think of a toy that you didn't even think you were going to think of. We're going to randomise it up a bit. Okay. So you'll notice that there's four uh, columns and there's three rows. Yep. Think of any one of those toys. Actually, think of an animal. Let's start with an animal. Okay. You got one? Yep. Now we're going, to wear, we're going to try and get you into a position where you're actually thinking of a toy you didn't even think you were going to be thinking of. So what I want you to do, I have no idea where you are right now, but move left or right to the nearest vehicle. Okay. You got it? Yep. Now you're on a vehicle, what I want you to do is move up or down to the nearest animal. Okay. Now go diagonally in any direction to the nearest vehicle. Yep. And finally move left or right to the nearest animal. Yep. You got that? So I don't know what toy you're on. You're probably on a different toy than you started off on. Uh, but I, I don't know that. But all I know is that you're currently thinking of a toy. Can you hold on to that in your memory? Can you try and think of that? Very good. We'll get back to that a little bit later on. That is a random way of having you select a toy. Because here's the thing. If I just had you think of a toy a lot of people will go for the same sort of thing you know they'll probably go like you would have gone for a superhero character or something because i know you really well right um so i know the sort of thing you think of so you've got a toy in mind but also you've got this location i asked you to think of a location somewhere that like eight-year-old jack would like to go are you thinking of that i am eight-year-old jack this is where eight-year-old jack would like to die to visit you know you've been given this competition right okay here we go hang on concentrate Eight-year-old Jack. Think back to when you were eight. Okay, maybe nine. I didn't have a beard back then. I know you're, you're stroking your bare chin. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it, it's it's possible. It's possible. Okay, I've committed myself. Some people say I should be committed. Um, where where are you going, Jack? Rome. Rome. Did did eight-year-old Jack want to go to Rome? I always liked Italy. Yeah, you always liked Italy? Is that because of the spaghetti and the pizza? Pizza, definitely. Yeah, definitely <laughs> the pizza, right. Okay, okay. So you're going to Rome. Yep. The next part of this is a celebrity. You're going to get it hand-delivered from a celebrity. Now, it's got to be a celebrity that you were into when you were eight years old. Okay? So I'm going to put here celebrity. And I want you to tell me, have you got a celebrity in your head? I have. You have. Somebody that you were into when you were eight years old. Yep. This surprises me. In fact, I don't even know whether this is correct. Um, it's a very good chance I'll be wrong. <laughs> who? What? 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 Are you, what are you? Go. What are you? Uh, what? Celebrity. Yeah. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Really? You're into Terry Crews when you're eight years old. Yeah, because I watch White Chicks and make me laugh. <laughs> you watch White Chicks at the age of eight. That's probably younger, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> Let me hold the brother, you me watching. Good parenting, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. 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 and Mrs. Merkit. Good job there. Well done. <laughs> Says the guy who just let Ryland watch Shaun of the Dead, so I can't really Oh, yeah, comment. I watched that one as a kid as well. Can't really comment, <laughs> can I? Uh, and finally, you've got the toy. Uh, the toy is obviously the one that we were thinking of earlier, so can you d d get that back into your head, yep. push everything out of the way, and then just bring that to the forefront? Okay. Uh, 
Interestingly, I bet you like Terry Crews now as well. Oh, yeah. Nice guy, apparently. Yeah, he's cool. Ryan met him. Yeah, I saw him match. Yeah? I saw him match. Yeah, yeah, I bet. That's well. Right, okay. Um, Take your head down. <laughs> so, uh, I've committed myself. What, what, but by the way, the, the toy, what was the toy? It was the dinosaur. The dinosaur? Interesting. Were you a dinosaur fan when you were a kid? I liked Jurassic Park a lot. So Did you? I'll so, you're kind of into yeah. dinosaurs, right? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park's. Basically, when you think Jurassic Park, you think dinosaurs. Yep. Um, or Jeff Goldblum. Maybe. He's a good looking guy. He's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Again, maybe not for eight year old Jack. <laughs> eight year old Jack wasn't thinking about <laughs> Terry Crews' muscles or Jeff Goldblum's personality. Um, anyway, I, you agree that I always made my predictions as to what you were going to do first, correct? Yep. Um, and I, I, you know, I was a bit hazy. I didn't think I was going to get this. I got a bit of a headache today. But uh, this is what I, I, I put down. Uh, the location, you thought of a place. I didn't quite get Rome. I put Italy. I think I'm close enough. What do you yeah, reckon? Yeah, I'll let you I, th I think that's pretty good, right? I was yeah. in Italy. I got Italy. But I definitely nailed the celebrity because you, you thought Terry Crews. And I wrote down hey. uh, Terry Crews. And then finally, um, the toy. I wrote down Dinosaur. Dinosaur. My writing's terrible, but you can see that, right? No, it's just dinosaur. dinosaur. I, I, I don't have a different trouble. Well, there you go. You can, you can keep those. Oh, no problem. You. Don't put them in the bin. I want to see them on your desk in five years' time. Like memory of this. Like a tell me off for leaving my desk on <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Welcome to my life. Um, there you go. That is another use of toys. There's a ton of stuff you can do with it, but this is super fun. Do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, you want to pick up toys, you can do so from Alakazam. I'll be back again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV. <laughs>